hello everyone in our last video we created a cluster and in this video we will add a node groups to the cluster okay so my cluster is created if i want to access it i can use this command kubectl get svc so this will tell me whether i am able to connect to my cluster yes so i can actually connect to my cluster from here okay so now let's look at how to add uh, nodes to it so I just have a cluster I'll go on compute and I will click on add node group okay here I will give the name of the node group dev demo node group okay IAM rule will be dev worker node policy so you need to create an IAM role the IAM role needs to have these three policies attached Amazon EKS worker node policy Amazon EC2 container registry read only and Amazon EKS CNI policy so I've created a role with um, EKS worker node policy and I've attached these three policies to it okay so once that is done you can either you can set labels tag tains and tags click on next so what AMI do you want? Amazon Linux this capacity is on demand. Instance type is you can take T3 medium which will have 2 vCPU and 4 GB memory. So it's up to you whatever you want to select. For this for demo purpose I will just go for a smaller one only. This is the disk size, this size right. Next is the scaling configuration how many nodes you want. So I want two nodes medium size should be two and maximum size should also be two right and next is maximum available set the maximum number of percentage of available nodes to be tolerated during the process so i will say number either it can be percentage and number so i will say one should be available okay then i'll click on next it will take the subnets on its own review and create Then I will say create. Now my nodes will get created here. So this is the node group that is getting created with two nodes. Okay, so I'll come back here and I will So if I want to see this, I can go here and write PC2. So these are my two running nodes that are actually getting created, T3 medium. Okay, and this is what I wanted to create. So these are still getting created. So we created a cluster first and when we created a cluster then we added node groups the nodes are getting created as we can see so once the nodes are created then i will have a cluster that has two nodes that are running so it's still initializing as we can see from here Yes, so we can see that these two nodes are ready. Okay, and so I have a cluster, then I have resources, right? I have two nodes right now, they are ready, and this is the node group name. It is still getting created as we can see. Okay, so my node group is there now. now if I go here and I say kubectl get nodes, 
Yes, so I can see both the nodes are ready. Okay, now if I say QCTL, get parts. So I don't have any parts right now, but I can create this NGINX part. QCTL create hyphen as you can parts are actually getting created now if i go here and click on resources parts So here is my part, NGINX. It is running and I it got created by me. Okay. So in this way we can actually create a EKS and uh, an EKS cluster, EKS cluster and the nodes. And this is how we can actually schedule the parts as well. So we created a cluster, then we created nodes and then we actually added a part here. Okay. Next is replica set. I don't have anything, I don't have a deployment for now. Stateful, I can create jobs, cron jobs, like the regular things that we do in Kubernetes, right? That is there. So I just have one default namespace and the rest are the cube uh, namespaces, right? This is where we can see services and secrets, config maps. Okay, so we can see what are the config maps here. So this is how we can actually deploy the cluster resources. I can also go and delete what QCTL delete. So I don't have any more pod here. If I look here, the pod is deleted. Okay. So I have these two nodes. There are zero health issues for now. Kubernetes labels, update config, state taints, update history. These were the nodes. Okay. So guys, yeah, this is how we can deploy uh, EKS cluster with two nodes. And we saw how to deploy, how to create, and how to access it. And we also scheduled a pod on the cluster. Okay. And thank you for watching the video. Do subscribe to my channel. I will create more videos on EKS, Kubernetes, and Docker as well. Thank you. Stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel.